Developing tonight, a woman shot in the face in West Palm Beach, but still able to name the gunman. And tonight, investigators have the shooter in custody and pin him to a murder in our state and in Georgia. But that's not all. There is a lot to this investigation. Our Tara Jaque was at the scene when the suspect was taken into custody weeks ago. She joins us now from the West Palm Beach Police Department with all of the new details that we're just now learning. Tara? West Palm Beach police announcing a big arrest of a man wanted for a crime spree. He started back on September 29th in Georgia and ended right here in West Palm Beach on October 3rd. Police say this complex case of tragedy started when Patrick Brockman invaded a home in Valdosta, Georgia on September 29th, followed by a murder in that same city just two days later. Authorities say he then drove to West Palm Beach, where on October 2nd he shot a 22-year-old woman in the face. She survived. But then investigators say he fatally gunned down a 43-year-old man in the middle of the street. On October 3rd, detectives Detectives working the shootings responded to an armed carjacking at a home on 6th Street and Edie Place. With assistance from the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, Brockman was apprehended at the home and a sheriff was shot in the process. Brockman is facing multiple charges, including murder with a firearm and possession of a firearm as a convicted felon. There's no word yet on a motive. He is being held in Palm Beach County Jail. In West Palm Beach, Tara Jake, YWPBF 25 News.